this is not, definitely not how I wanted to return to this channel. Hopefully starting to want to make GTA videos again. In fact, I've actually been more discouraged with what's going on right now in Rockstar and their third release of Grand Theft Auto V as well as online. Here I thought we were one day away from expanded enhanced or whatever the f*** they want to call it and I thought it was going to be normal. I genuinely, genuinely thought it was just going to be a nice straight through normal. No problems at all. Because, you know, they've done it two other times now. <laughs> but instead, they have completely led people astray. And they're, they're like, almost scamming people at this point. So, you may have seen on Twitter or other channels making these videos that Rockstar has completely screwed up the transfer from console to the next generation of console. And it's kind of hard to explain unless I give an example. So, let me just do that real quick. For example, you started on Xbox 360, let's say day one, or just started on Xbox 360 period, and then you transferred it to PS4 or Xbox One. During that time, there is a few years where you could transfer that now PS4 or Xbox One account that was originally on Xbox 360 to a PC account after it released in 2015. And you could transfer an Xbox 360, an Xbox One, a PS3, or a PS4 account to PC. So you could have your account on all three generations for free, no strings attached, no, let me bend you over for another shark card or Strauss Zelnick come to your house and beat your nutsack to a pulp or nothing like that, you know? Rockstar didn't even announce this. This has been pretty much discovered through players and the Rockstar support team themselves where people complain and then they will try and explain it. Now, if you were one of those people between 2015, the release of the PC GTA 5, and when they stop doing transfers, you are completely screwed out of transferring that account to a next generation console. So you started on Xbox 360, you transferred it to PS4, and then you transferred that PS4 account to now PC. You can't transfer that account from PC to PS5 or Xbox X, or the PS4 account from the PS5 to the Xbox X. It is the most screwed up thing Rockstar has ever done to the GTA Online community. It is saddening. I would understand if you weren't able to transfer your account from PC to the new next generation of consoles, because yes, obviously people mod, people get money, and I understand that Rockstar just wants another spare little coochie of that them shark cards. I'm at a friends only session right now because, I mean, it's so unsafe to play in a public GTA Online session right now. I mean, I'm, I'm at risk of getting booted and DDoSed and uh, I don't even want to think about it, but you know, that that's a, another whole video, you know. The security in GTA Online is just god awful. Everyone knows that at this point though. I digress, but the fact that you cannot now transfer that PS4 account that you may have had since day one, since the Xbox 360 for example, you cannot transfer to the next generation of consoles and I couldn't be more disappointed. Luckily though, I'm not one of those people that transferred my original account to PC. So I lucked out there and luckily I did, but there's still probably thousands or millions of people that did and that is just so disappointing and so upsetting for those players that have day one accounts that can no longer transfer and progress on the next generation of consoles even after purchasing the game so i just wanted to make that little psa and just explain how disappointed i am you know the last real video i think i made was back when the trilogy got announced that went completely to shit i think i do have some videos planned that i think i want to make but I don't know, I'm just so frustrated at Rockstar, I I was one of those people that could defend them and just, you know, go to hell and back for Rockstar, but honestly, they are just such a problem child. My only theory is, is that they just want to tank for Take-Two Interactive and just tank their stock or something. That's, 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 that's all I can think of, honestly. We are one day from release, and once again, Rockstar just completely throws a curveball and is completely over the entire GTA Online community. If you were one of those people that did the GTA Online PC transfer back when it was still available, you can no longer use that account on the next generation of consoles. Let me know what you guys think below. Um, let me know that you guys are just disappointed. I mean, you probably are. So yeah, maybe there's gonna be a few PS5 GTA Online videos I will make, because luckily, if you have PlayStation Plus, you can get it for free, so I'm one of those people that can get it for free. 
and I'll be playing it a little bit and I will be able to use my account that I've had since day one on Xbox 360 so luckily I'm in good hands I just wanted to make that PSA in case you are one of the people that did transfer to PC you now have a chance to cancel your pre-orders and tell Rockstar to go f themselves and make their own goddamn money through shark cards all right I think I'm gonna wrap it up there so if you guys did enjoy or just found this video useful in any way drop a like um, I can't promise any more videos after this because of just how disappointed I am. I have been uploading quite frequently on my second channel, so if you guys want to check that out, I'll leave that pinned in the comment down below. I do variety gaming content there, so if you're interested and you'd like to take the time out of your day to check that channel out, I'd be much appreciated, but obviously you do not. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.